Hi, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so excited to get into this box. This is uh, part of my birthday haul. I have a separate plant coming from somewhere else that is part of this. I just couldn't wait. I had to show you guys first. If you missed my post about this lovely lady who jumped into my basket at the grocery store, believe it or not, she smells divine during the day. It is evening time, so she doesn't have her scent right now. But look at the blooms. They're like a, um, almost like a tan peach color. I don't think the camera is really showing it. It's looking more yellow on camera than it actually is in person. But more importantly, look at the leaves. So she definitely, definitely has. I'm going to say probably with that spotting, she might have some Shaliriana in there. I don't know, but I got her at the grocery store. She was like 15 bucks. They had two, and this is the one that had the better root system. The blooms themselves kind of had the same, same look about them. They both were double spiked. The leaves pretty much look the same, but this one had the better root system on the inside. So I am just waiting for some root tips and then I'm going to give her something fresh because it looks like they just took her and plopped her in here and threw some bark to ship and sell because you can actually see the, the plug right here. I don't know if you can really see that on camera, but that's the plug right there. It's not even down deep. It's not covered, so, which is kind of good because she's getting used to a more airy, dry environment. But isn't she just gorgeous? Oh, she's just beautiful. Cannot wait to see her grow, but I'm going to move her back on the table up here where she belongs. And we are going to see what's in the box. So all of these are from the Big Leaf Orchid. Uh, Peter Lynn, I believe, is the owner. Amazing guy, amazing guy. But before I go into it, I want to thank, and I'm going to call you anonymous. You know who you are. Um, sent me some fundage so that I could get birthday plants from the Big Leaf Orchid Company. And again, I'm going to say thank you. You did ask not to be mentioned, so I'm not mentioning you. I will call you anonymous. But do know I am very much appreciative. And... All except for one, I think, are orchids that you yourself would get because we both kind of have the same taste in orchids. Let's just get into it. So they did arrive this afternoon. And I do have a box here. I'm going to put some of this bubble, the styrofoam in here. There we go. So I don't have my scissors. I'm so unprepared. Hold on. Let me grab these. Of course, if you guys have been watching me for a while, you already know I'm not the most prepared. I'm very low production here. Let me get this here. So I had initially made two separate orders. Of course, two different shipping. And Peter sent an email saying that he refunded part of the order because he combined my orders, which made the shipping less. I'm telling you guys, great, great customer service. I've ordered plants from him before, and they've always come in very healthy and done well so I expect nothing less from this one all right so this is I've got my little table out today so I'm a little crunched in all right here we are let me pull her out so this one is I'll show you guys the tag this is a phalaenopsis Sue's glad kid blue if I can snag a picture off of Peter's website without copyright issues, I will post a picture. It is beautiful. It's a white bloom with like purplish blue in there. Oh, just gorgeous. But look at her. Look at the leaves. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait. I'm kind of thinking of putting some of these on a mount, make more space on the shelf. Look at the roots and we've got active root tips. Now, most of his orchids do come in the nursery, these little flimsy um, pots. Not a big deal. They, they are fine. I think he repacks them in fresh moss as soon as he gets them imported, but either way it goes. Oh, my goodness. She is ready to go into probably moss. I'll keep her in moss. Moss or bark, my usual mix. But look at that. Very healthy looking plant there. 
very healthy. Now this one does look like it's senescing a little bit. That's all right because I'll probably take these two baby leaves off and this one let it continue senescing through when I go to repot. Haven't quite decided yet because, well, I just got her and she needs to acclimate for a few days before I remove her from her home. Then we have, oh, well, this is interesting. Okay, let me just push it up here. Oh, okay, so in my Saturday video, strolling video, the I believe it was for the 14th of October, I had said I had a plan for the terrarium. This plant I'm holding in my hand was part of that plan, but now that I'm looking at the size of her, I may have to um, rethink it. And she has a bloom. There is a bloom. So I had purchased one of these before. I didn't do well with it. Thought I'd try it again. But it is, for those of you who know these types of workers, probably already know what kind it is, but I'm going to show you the tag anyway. It's the Bubble Film Fascinator Variation semi alba well i i was thinking it was going to be a little smaller than this i might still put it in the terrarium just to keep the humidity up but look at that we've got us a spike getting ready to open hope it's not one of the stinky ones but we have lovely roots in a le pot and we've got some roots starting so that is a good thing i'll just have to add some more moss and whatnot in there to keep it hydrated. Push it down a little bit. There we are. So that is that one. Look at the leaves on that. Oh my goodness. And it's got a long rhizome in between each one. So may not be able to put it in that particular terrarium. I may have to come up with another plan. I'll have to wait and see. I'll let them acclimate for a little bit before I just, you know, move them to what I want them to do. And then we have... This one, which let me just pop it up. And I think this one might have a spike with the stake in there. I'm not 100% sure, but we will definitely find out together. And I'm rude. I hope everyone is having a great day. Um, it is Tuesday, October the 17th currently. I had planned to post this video tonight, but then the shipping updated that it wasn't going to come till today so we've got another video for today and you'll see this on thursday the 19th but let's see what we've got here no no spike but that's all right this is a big beautiful obviously a foul again young guys know i love my fouls and anonymous this is why i got them because i know you're partial to fouls too but this is Phalaenopsis Tetraspis Wilson 214. And before I put this in my basket, I did double check the Tetraspis I already have to make sure I didn't get another one because I also got that one, I believe, from Big Leaf Orchids. But look at the leaves on that. Oh my goodness, she's going to be a fatty. Look at that. Beautiful. Just beautiful. And again, got gorgeous root tips coming in. So she is ready to... Go ahead and come out of here and put into a permanent pot. Uh, again, we'll wait a couple of days. Hold on. Get that moss from in between that leaf while I'm seeing it. A um, few days, let them kind of acclimate, let the leaves relax a little bit. You know, not shock her too much. And then she will go into her own home. Oh my goodness, she's so pretty. She is so pretty. Hold on, let me see. Let me just give her a good once over. And I will reuse this moss. I'll just take it out of this pot, loosen the edge of the moss a little bit, and then put it in uh, her permanent home until she outgrows that one. Because this moss, when you get it from Peter over at Big Leaf Orchids, is fresh. It's not been sitting there for a long time. So you can reuse it rather quickly. And then this one here is not a phalaenopsis but my second favorite type of orchid which is a cattleya and this particular cattleya is let's see if we can get it out of here without making a mess 
Uh, there's some, oop, 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 there's some rock at the bottom and just a little bit of moss at the top. So she's not in there very steady, but that's okay. This is Cattleya Shiliriana crossed with sibling. Look, check, if I can find the blooms, guys. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Just stunning. Now she has several growths on hers. This is the latest growth right here by my thumb. Don't want to move her around too much because like I said, she's just got some rock at the bottom and then the moss. There's not a lot of um, stuff holding her down. So I may have to do something with her sooner rather than later. May take her out and kind of put her in the, the rock to kind of weigh her down. Kind of mix the rock and the moss together while she's acclimating. But isn't she just pretty? And the blooms, oh, very pretty as well. Let me stand her up. So those are the four that I did get from Big Leaf Orchids. They are now becoming a favorite orchid supply as well. And if you guys would like to go check them out, go check out Peter and Big Leaf Orchids. They do a marvelous job. Customer service is beautiful. And once again, Anonymous, thank you for allowing me the opportunity to go shopping. You guys have a beautiful day and I'll see you next time.